All right, let's talk about Josh Allen, who I think if you just looked at the final score for this game, you'd be like, oh my God, Josh Allen, the Bills offense must have been incredible. Well, not exactly. At the first half, they only ended up with uh, 16 points. They didn't score at all in the third quarter. So, you know, in the fourth quarter, it was uh, 16 nothing. They then scored 21 points in the f- fourth quarter. One of those was a defensive touchdown, so that obviously helped. Uh, but, you know, let's talk about kind of why things went well when they went well, because it was still a pretty good offensive performance. What maybe some issues are that they still need to work on, all of that stuff. Well, let's get into it. Starting off with this play, you know, this is something I think is probably underrated about Josh Allen. Is We talk about this with Lamar Jackson. We talk about this with Justin Fields. But whenever we get to the quarterbacks who are more known for throwing the football, we kind of almost don't even bring this up anymore. We're like, So this is a man coverage play on third down and 10. And in a lot of circumstances, like, yeah, sure, this makes a ton of sense. Play man coverage, you can guarantee that there's not going to be someone who just sits down in a soft spot in coverage further than 10 yards down the field. You can blitz if you want to, forcing Allen to have to get rid of the football even quicker, given the fact that it's a third down and 10. Uh, You know, on paper, sure, makes sense. Why not run this coverage? Well, watch how when Allen takes the snap right here, you're going to notice that Right here, he looked down the field, didn't love what he sees, but there is a gap open for him to step up in the pocket. And when you also factor in, again, it's man coverage. So out of these, uh, you know, seven players typically playing coverage, unless you have a linebacker or a safety covering over the middle of the field, which they don't on this play, you know, five of those guys are going to be just playing man coverage, you know, not looking towards Josh Allen at all. You only have two other guys to work with, and none of these two players are over the middle of the field on this specific play. So when Allen steps up in the pocket, he is going to be able to pick up this first down, and then does a good job of protecting himself as well, which is very important. Yes, he's built like a tank, but tanks can still break down. Make sure that you avoid the hits uh, if you can. But this is just the kind of thing where it's like you pretty much have to just defend the pass. The passing game is so good for the Bills that you can't really afford to like, you know, play and try to limit his running ability. But that means that Allen is going to have these opportunities and he can take advantage of them. This play was one of those classic Josh Allen plays, third down and eight right here. And what's going to happen is it's once again, man coverage, single safety deep type of concept. But watch how this time, it, you know, it is a blitz and you see that there is pressure coming towards Allen. He's in trouble. He didn't love what he sees. Another third down and eight pressure right in his face. Tough situation. This is the value of Josh Allen and why while some people will certainly get on him when he has a bad game and make a big deal of it. These are the plays that still makes him, you know, in my opinion, a top three quarterback in football. I would put him three behind Burrow and Mahomes. Watch as he's going to scramble outside the pocket, make this throw wall pretty much on a sprint, and there is a small window to hit Diggs. I mean, Diggs is not wide open. You know, sometimes you see someone make a off-bounce throw and they hit someone wide open, and I'm usually like, that's pretty impressive, you know, being able to throw off-balance and make a somewhat accurate throw. This doesn't, you know, a somewhat accurate throw doesn't result in a completion here. He has to put this one right on the money. But that's exactly what Allen does. Quite frankly, I think it's just fair to say from what I saw in this game, Josh Allen is all the way back. Like Josh Allen is Josh Allen. We know who he is. He's going to have his bad games. He's not someone who doesn't. Yes, week one was a bad game. I'm still going to take Josh Allen over a lot of other players because most players can't do something like this. But okay, well, let's talk about some negatives then. As I mentioned, the offense really didn't get going, you know, you could argue until the fourth quarter, uh, you know, I mean, sure, 16 points in three quarters, that's not bad, you'll take that, I don't think Washington's defense is terrible, but you also have to factor in, they had several turnovers to work with that helped them get uh, some of those points, so, uh, you know, it. I don't think it was like, the cleanest overall offensive day for the Bills, despite the 37 overall points scored, let's talk about why things went wrong, I thought it was just like some near misses and some good defense from Washington. I really did. So like on this play, it's, it's going to be another third down situation. This is late in the first quarter. You have, uh, it's going to be Diggs running about over the middle against zone coverage. Could potentially get open, right? You can see how this could work. Sure. An opportunity to look here. Maybe Washington saying, well, that man coverage stuff didn't work. Let's try something else. Watch as Allen's going to take the snap. He is going to, you know, start to scramble out due to the pressure. You know, guys got through completely unblocked, which that can't happen. That's something that, that is something the Bills will have to work on for sure, is getting the, the blitz pickups and all that stuff good. 
But Allen, while off balance, still makes a nearly caught football. Diggs was almost able to go up and make that play. Some good defense there uh, as well by 35 for Washington. Uh, so, you know, give him some credit. That's that's Percy Butler, the safety. So, yeah, sure. Uh, some good plays by Washington to set up a tough situation. Still, that is kind of something you almost expect the, uh, the Bills to convert on. They probably will in the future. Like, this one's another example where this time it's going to be Gabe Davis in a one-on-one matchup on the outside towards the sideline. Okay, going for a touchdown here. They just turned Sam Howell over for the second time in the game, trying to see if they can, you know, turn it into seven points instead of just three. Allen is going to take the snap. He is going to look in Gabe Davis's direction. He fires in Gabe Davis's direction. There's barely even a window right here, right? I mean, this is a mailbox throw if I've ever seen one. But Allen's throw is perfect, and this is really good defense by Kendall Fuller. He ended up, uh, the reason why this wasn't complete was he knocked the ball, which kind of caused it to bobble a little bit. So by the time Davis finally had possession, uh, he was already out of bounds at that point. Great play by Fuller. I mean, to me, that's how I view it. Good offense, better defense, uh, you know, didn't quite work out. Sometimes it happens. I'm not going not gonna to crush him for it. One more negative play to talk about is this one where, you know, it's the one interception on the day. Because, again, Josh Allen's numbers are not going to wow you. Uh, 20 for 32, 218 yards, one touchdown, one pick. Not going to wow you, for sure. But let's talk about what happened. Where, you know, this interception, it's a fine play. It's actually something I, I like that he does. We're third down and 20. So, okay, Tough situation here, right? Probably not going to convert the third down and 20. On top of this, at the 40-yard line, a punt, I mean, don't get me wrong, a punt will still do some good, but it's not like you're punting from your own 15-yard line here, right? There, you know, there is an end zone now you have to worry about a little bit. It's not as bad as if you were punting at like the 50 either, but uh, it's just, you know, another factor. Allen's going to take a snap. He's going to look over, see that it ends up being a one-on-one -on -one matchup on the outside and says, yeah, let's just toss one up. Great job. I want him to do that. If I'm a, the Bills offensive coordinator, I'm saying, yeah, take that chance. This is, you know, an arm punt, essentially. If it's not intercepted, then cool. Okay, you can punt anyway. If it is intercepted, you're getting the ball pretty far down the field, and maybe there will be a, a caught pass or a pass interference that gives you a ton of yards. It's totally worth the risk. The down, only downside is that it adds an interception to his total, and then people who don't watch the games and don't look at advanced stats will say that he sucks. We'll look at as you see, gets intercepted. So, okay, there's your pick. Oh no, bad play by Josh Allen. Now he has an interception, and now people are going to crush him for it, uh, which again, uh, sure, people will bring that up. That will be a thing that at the end of the day, when he's at the end of his season, people are just going to look at the interception totals and not look at context. That's going to happen. I still want Josh Allen making these throws, though, and I like that he does. That's kind of how I view it. Those are my thoughts on Allen and his performance against Washington. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.